Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with another Minecraft Dungeons video. Um, while I am farming for those crazy items in order to one-shot bosses and stuff like that, also working on some new guides, I just wanted to show you guys how I get my hands on those items as quick as possible. So yesterday I uploaded a video that allows you to one or two shot the Mushroom Monstrosity with a pretty crazy build and what you need for that one is a harp crossbow with the perfect enchantments. Um, I already have the multi-shot right here on level 3 which gives me a 40% trigger chance but you should get your hands on a power 3 right here as well. Uh, the other one could be explosive or whatever you get right here, but um, definitely get a multi-shot with a power 3. So right now I will show you guys my fastest way in order to get your hands on the harp crossbow guys. So let's get right to it. Alright, so currently we are on Apocalypse 6, the highest difficulty, and we are going to travel to the High Block Halls. This is the place where you'll be able to find three different types of bows or crossbows. The Power Bow, which is pretty insane, then a Rapid Crossbow, works like a machine gun, and then the Scatter Crossbow. The unique one is the Harp Crossbow or the Electrified Harp Crossbow, something like that. But um, guys, let's start the mission. All right, so guys, here we are at the High Block Halls. First off, let me check my artifacts. So this is what you're gonna need, a Ghost Cloak, a Death Cap Mushroom, and also Boots of Swiftness. In combination with the Battle Rope, which already has minus 25% artifact cooldown, um, with two more cooldown reduction enchantments, you will be able to keep spamming your enchantments. The Cowardice allows me to deal with mobs a lot easier as well. And then, last but not least, I have the Fighter's Bindings, which have Gravity, Swirling and Radiance, so I will be able to deal with big packs of mobs in no time. So what we're gonna do right now is open up our minimap overlay, so not our regular map, our minimap overlay, and right now we will be able to navigate through this dungeon without a problem. We can also look at our surroundings and dodge all those incoming attacks. Especially the crossbow bolts because they deal tons of damage, but at the same time the ghost cloak will prevent most of the damage. Uh, sometimes you will be able to find this room, which is nice to see, so let's clear this one as well. It will spawn a little chest at the end and this will also, of course, have a chance of dropping the harp crossbow. As you can see, these fighters bindings are shredding through those mobs. Um, the respawning doesn't have time to keep up with me. But um, this chest is quite easy to get, so I recommend to always go for it. Oh, last guy right here. And boom, there we go. Just a common item, nothing too fancy, but we also got our hands on some emeralds. And these guys were waiting for me, but the joke was on them. I did a pretty cool ambush right there. So right now we're just gonna continue our way to that little uh, area where we either have to fight um, against a bunch of mobs with some waves, but right now we are a little bit lucky. We have to only find the key, and the key is on this side most of the times. So I'm gonna keep running, trying to dodge those crossbow arrows, and then boom, our key is in the lock. Now we can continue with the speed run. We don't clear any of those mobs. Again, if you drop low in HP, just use your potion. And right now we are already at the courtyard. You can recognize this because of the raindrops. And uh, you're gonna run to this little area. You can see it on the map and it is recognizable like that. It is on the top um, side, on the top right in the east corner. And right now you'll be able to find an evoker, a redstone beast or... Um, um, how is it called again? An enderman. And then at the same time there will also be a little piglet. I always kill this one first and then I focus on the evoker. Oh, where is he? Right there. Look at that. Dealing tons of damage with that radiance and swirling. Well, radiance doesn't deal any damage, but uh, it just keeps healing me. It is awesome to see, guys. It's like fireworks. Oh, we just found another evoker. That is actually the first time for me. But um, only more loot, guys. Only more loot. And then you're going to progress to this little place where you can um, turn on the switch and then you'll be able to go to the buffet. First off, we are in the kitchen. We're going to destroy these four tables and then deal with all these guys. Take the potion. Go to the next room. Right now, we're going to have to destroy eight tables. 
Use artifacts once again and go to the third place where we're gonna have to destroy another four tables. We'll just ignore all these mobs, guys. Also, if you see chests on the map, guys, just don't take them only if they are uh, gold, let's say. And right now we have already arrived at the obsidian chest. So we're gonna roll on that one and activate it. And boom, we found a Highland Axe. This is not the hard crossbow, but what you're gonna do right now is just return to the camp. Um, I also died at that point, but that is not much of a big deal. And that's pretty much it for this speed run. It only takes a couple minutes and we just got our hands on a unique, which is really nice. This Highland Axe doesn't seem to have the best enchantments, but we already have Critical Hit, Swirling, and then Shockwave. So you could deal some pretty crazy damage with this bad boy, but um, it doesn't have Radiance, which is a shame. So I'm just gonna salvage these guys and um, then we will be able to buy some new stuff with our emeralds. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is everything you need to know in order to go for that speed run um, to get your hands on the harp crossbow. Of course, you can also find some really nice other items on that place. Uh, for example, the power bow, which also deals tons and tons of damage. If you get multi-shot on this one, you will also be able to one-shot the Mushroom Monstrosity with a little bit of luck. And then the rapid crossbow. It works like an M16. This automatic damage is insane. And then, of course, also the Deathcap Mushroom, which is always nice to find an upgrade for, and the Fireworks Arrow. Um, all the other stuff is not that great, but um, I can assure you guys, um, this is the fastest way to do it it only takes uh, three to four minutes maximum if you have the right gear so guys thanks a lot for watching this is everything for this video right now um, i hope to see you in the next one um, i'm working on those guides i just need a little bit more time in order to farm these uh, items which i need but we'll cover that in the next video guys have a very nice weekend i'll see you very soon right now it is 4am out